So this car right here, it actually went from a Holley carburetor to Holley EFI, and now it's a full EV swap. Okay, let's talk about that uh, drag race yesterday. It's, it's It wasn't fair drag race. Let's talk about I that. I don't think it was fair either. Holly's high voltage experience. Your system is an 85 kilo? Uh, it's a 100. It's a 100 oh, pack a with a... P100? P100. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a P100D without the D. So I just have the rear motor. Oh. Um, it's a large drive unit, sport large, unit. Okay. Yep. Uh, and it's uh, no traction control. It's kind no of... No traction control. Old school kind of muscle car feel. Okay, do you have it open all the way up? Because I know these systems, you can you can throttle them, you can set it or whatever. It, it's, uh, you know, the EV controls, T2C. So it's, uh, you know, I got it turned all the way up. I pretty much am just limited by the battery. So when the battery like starts the to sag, it pulls power. And do you know how much life that battery had? Because you, you got it out of a car, right? So yeah. It, I got it out of three cars. So uh, it ranges oh. from one of them had 40 miles on it and uh, or two of the, the modules. The rest are about nine to 12,000 miles. Oh, okay. So they're fairly fresh yeah. modules. Um, so you mix match modules. Uh, yeah. 16 of them total? 16 total, okay. yeah. Okay. Huh. I wonder, I always wonder how that would work because we always, I mean, the, the thing to do is to try to get them from the same car. Right. Yeah, right. And so what happened is they got damaged in shipping. They left the coolant oh, in it, some got corroded, one got cracked in half. And so I just kind of kept piecing that's them the together. That, that, that's, the, that's the simplest, biggest mistake people do is not put little... Just the, little plugs, the yeah, plugs or blow them. it out or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, you Even blowing them out, you can't get all the coolant out of them. them. That's right. So, okay, so, but here's why it's not fair, because that plaid, it's three Model 3 performance motors yeah it, so it's three motors against one motor okay yeah, yeah. your motor is bigger yeah but you, how do you know how much your car ends up weighing right it's 4350 okay so then your car yeah. is on it, the heavy it's, side it's yeah uh, uh you know that so i pull up to the to the line and they have to go find the hose to get me some water because they're not used to you know these are all teslas they don't have to do a burnout so they, they go get the hose they give me some water to do a burnout, do a burnout. and i watch the plaid just go around the water cold tires and then he, he blasts did, he, off does a, <laughs> he didn't even bother to no, warm his tires up he's probably listening to classical music <laughs> and drinking a macchiato and then nine and a half at 150 it's just unbelievable yeah okay so that was that was that video. Someone put it up there. Do you know who put it up there? Do you I, know? Don't know. I don't know. Okay, it, it was just a random person yeah. that sighed from the audience. Yeah. We all sighed this morning. We yeah. were like, whoa, you know. <laughs> but I wanted to make a video, explain that, because, I mean, your build is pretty amazing, right? And obviously, if any you get anybody on that on the passenger seat and you can blow their brain oh, out, yeah. right? Like, it's just the, people don't get it. It's the plat. It's a freaking monster. It's, it's the fastest. It's amazing. Car? Yeah. It's, right? It's, it's just unbelievable that you can go buy that car and run a 950. It's uh, something that drag racers have been striving for these times for decades. Yeah. Even non-drivers will set the world record. Like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Didn't even try. World Jay world Leto. Did Jay Leto set a track record? Yeah, he did. Yeah. So, there, so that's that's what this is against, right? So, I mean, that doesn't take away from your build. Your build's amazing. Sure, yeah. It goes fast. How are you liking it so far? So, I, I like street cars. So, I wanted to build a pure street car. It looks like a muscle car daily drivable and I call it a street fighter because all that torque comes in so quick like you know yeah. you know most 99% of the cars couldn't touch it on the street and yeah. so uh, that's what I'm really enjoying yeah 
So no regrets. No regrets. No regrets. No. Are you doing another build anytime yeah, soon? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, got a, I got a good friend who has a 70 Torino and uh, about the same size car. We can kind of configure things similar and maybe do a dual motor. Oh, all wheel drive. Yeah, I was a little worried about taking on too much for the first build, but now that I got my feet wet, yeah. might as well go dual motor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I think the only thing that is going to get scarcer and scarcer is going to be those batteries. Yeah. Um, because. Well, everybody's doing these builds it's now. Popular, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes. right. So they're actually going up in price. Yeah. But I think we have lab batteries coming, maybe. Yeah. You know, and uh, Model Three batteries, but they're harder to work they're with. Harder. But you know, with a build like yours, a, a car similar to that, I think yeah, we should be able to. Maybe we'll get some Lucid batteries. Lucid or batteries. Lucid, you know? Yeah, those are coming out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Or this guy uh, next to you is using Prismatics. Uh, Prismatics. They're from uh, Honda Insight. Oh, oh, is that yeah. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So those are cool for like fast cars that don't need a lot of battery. Yep. So uh, they have put it. I think they're 50C. Oh yeah. Yeah. So they amazing. can put quite a bit of power. Uh, he was full throttle for like five minutes on those. So, I mean, yes. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Make sure you follow Kevin in his YouTube channel where he documents his entire build. All right, we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.